Rocky Lane Dennery is the latest location in the East Coast Fishing Village where the blood of another young man was spilled tragically at the barrel of a gun. It was about 12.35 a.m. A new day had broken, but the darkness of the night still hung over the land as the now all-too-familiar sound of gunfire roused the witching hour of slumber in the quaint community. The first few minutes of National Day, an occasion synonymous with the celebration of the symbolism of St. Lucia pride and tradition, were ushered in by the shooting death of 27-year-old Rainus Jones. His mother says the unfortunate news came around 3 in the morning via a frantic phone call from her distraught sister. It got me worried where I couldn't sleep again. I was worried and, you know, until I said, I want to know, tell me, tell me what is going on, what is going on. The loss of her child hit the blind-sided mom like an emotional turn of bricks. Later on, they told me, well, Renas, they shot him. And that was it. That was it. Leery by escalating violent crime, the worried mother says she warned her children repeatedly to be cautious. Call it intuition, but a sense of foreboding was all but confirmed when the first gunshot cracked the early morning sky. Not to go and put yourself in any trouble. Stay away. I used to tell him that. But I remember the last gunshot I heard. I was on my bed. That time I just get up from my bed, went to the toilet, and coming back, going on my bed, and I heard the gunshot. And you know, when I heard it, I started trembling. The grieving mother insists her son was not gang affiliated, and those who knew him are bewildered by the turn of events. So why why they did that to him? That's what the question everybody asking, and that's the question I myself ask: Why they did that to him? The Denery resident says her last interaction with her son was on Monday morning. A routine farewell as he left for work is now the final goodbye that haunts her memories. Jones became St. Lucia's 70th known homicide victim on December 13, 2022. This is the third such shooting involving a Denery resident within the span of two weeks. On Sunday, 4th December, 24-year-old Denry resident Joshua Edgar was executed in a hail of gunfire in Viewfort along a rutted dirt road. And on December 7th, 35-year-old Philbert Daisy was gunned down near his home in Denry. The mother of the latest homicide victim exhorts St. Lucia's youth to stop the senseless violence. Too many parents are hurting crying and yes they shot my son but what's about the parent they, their children are going out there or whoever going out there and shooting others we need to put down that gun and young people look to God look to God young people it is time to look to God put away these guns we need peace we need love we need to love one another and let us come together, young people. Young people, that is. Sula <laughs> Jalfred, HTS News Force.